Dutch oven cooking for beginners. This is a Dutch oven beginner 101 tutorial for those of you who've never had a Dutch oven and are trying it out for the first time and just need a couple hints. Because on our homestead, Dutch oven cooking is part of our off-grid lifestyle. And I'll tell you what, friends, we love it. We love it. So let's get cooking, and we're going to give you a real quick, easy recipe to throw in your Dutch oven tonight to get you started. As Mr. Hiller's getting the recipe ready, here are some basics about the Dutch oven. They come in different sizes, 10 inch, 12 inch. This is actually a 12 inch muley, and it is made by Camp Chef. Uh, there are a couple really good brand names out there. Camp Chef is one of them, and so is Lodge. This is 100% cast iron. This baby weighs a ton. You don't want to skimp on a Dutch oven. This is going to be a good practical investment for your homestead. And if you're going to be using it, make sure it's 100% cast iron and it's one of the, the top brand names. The other thing about these Dutch ovens is some come pre-seasoned and some don't come pre-seasoned. Both of ours we pre-seasoned, and if you're really interested, we will show you how to do that. But this has already been pre-seasoned. And what we do for this recipe, and every recipe, is I will take my organic coconut oil, and I will first, even though it's been seasoned, I will rub another layer on the inside of my Dutch oven with my coconut oil. And I actually will do this for my if I'm making a cake or a cobbler, if I'm even making a pizza or a casserole. This is kind of a great trick so that nothing sticks and it really adds a nice flavor. Very subtle. Now the awesome thing about your Dutch oven is you can actually cook anything in it. I mean anything. It, it, you can saute, you can bake a cake, you can make pizza, you can simmer, you can use it as a slow cooker. That's the great thing about these Dutch ovens. They're just so versatile. versatile and out of the box kind of thinking. And that's why we have two here on our homestead and we use them so much because instead of using the propane, or say in the summertime, we're not firing up the wood stove. We are actually using the Dutch oven. The pea is 100% organic and from the homestead. And that's what we love about our Dutch oven cooking. Everything that we grow, everything that we forage, everything that we hunt goes right into the Dutch oven. Really awesome. So tonight we are taking some of our dried morels. You got to you got to soak them in the water first if you dry them. So we've got the, the morels we're going to be throwing in there. We've got our white potatoes that we grew. Just a little bit of potato. We have a sweet potato. We have a zucchini. Beautiful bell pepper. We have our onions. And then Mr. Hilder also has turkey. turkey wild turkey. turkey. And the key to this is Mr. Hilder is just going to throw the wild turkey first on the grill. But what you can also do is, because we've got two Dutch ovens, is use the other Dutch oven to grill it and, and simmer it and brown it. But for this recipe, we're going to do it really fast. So you get to see the full use of the Dutch oven. And then the other trick, and Mr. Hilder... You gotta, I hate to say it, but you got to put bacon in there. Yes, that's the other trick. This is, this will add such, such flavor and aid in the cooking that it will, it will, it's just like, once you, once you try it, you won't, yeah. you won't go without it. Dutch ovens and bacon. And there's nothing wrong with having a little bit of bacon. A little bit of bacon. People, remember I told you. There are two ways to cook with your Dutch oven. One is with a charcoal briquette and the other one is with good old fashioned wood. Doesn't make any difference which style you use. The bottom line is you're going to get them nice and hot. Now today in this video we're going to be using the charcoal briquettes and I'm going to show you for the recipe exactly how to apply them and how many you'll need to cook what we're cooking tonight. 
Now, most recipes for your Dutch oven are going to call for so many charcoal burquettes. This one, I'm going to put 15 on the top and approximately 15 on the bottom of the Dutch oven. All you see, lighter fluid, there's no way around it. And just douse that lighter fluid on your charcoal. And then you're going to light it right away. And what we're going to wait for then is for those charcoals to get nice glowing red. You know, when they get that, that ash on there with that red, that's when we know they're going to be ready for the Dutch oven. Is we simply put it on the ground and we surround it with cement block. You can do cement block, you can do rock, uh, but it's nice to have that little bit of a wind barrier and the gravel is great because all of this is fire retardant and makes it safe. Some extra tips. Get yourself some long tongs like this one. See? Because you're going to be picking up and moving around the charcoal on top and below your Dutch oven. So these really come in handy. The other thing is you're going to need either an old pair of oven mitts or some pads, some hot pads, and make sure they're really old because what's going to happen is when you want to peek inside your Dutch oven, you're going to grab that hot handle and sooner or later you're going to touch the briquettes and these are going to get burn marks on them. So just make sure that you get yourself an old pair. And the other thing is where you choose to put your Dutch oven, make sure it is level make sure that it is fire retardant and in a safe area. We put ours out of the wind and what we do is we simply put it on the ground and we surround it with cement block. You can do cement block, you can do rock, uh, but it's nice to have that little bit of a wind barrier and the gravel is great because all of this is fire retardant and makes it safe. So Mr. Hildert lightly sauteed some of the vegetables and he threw it in the Dutch oven. Now remember, you don't have to lightly saute it. You can throw all of this right into your Dutch oven. But because he had the wild turkey tonight, he wanted to get that cooking a little bit. So what we're going to do is just put the cover on. And we're going to go outside and get this on the charcoal. It requires 15 pieces of charcoal on the bottom. So I arranged them in a nice little circular pattern so that I can set my Dutch oven right on top of those charcoals. And then on the top, and this is why this comes in handy, then right on top I'm going to pick up the rest of my coals and place 20 on top. And just fill up the top in that circular pattern And some recipes will call for 15, and some will call for 20, and some will call for 10. It just depends on what you're cooking and how much heat you need. Okay, so it's been about 25 minutes, and then what you simply do is you push your briquettes to the side. And this is where you're going to need a good glove mitt or a hot pad. Really got to be careful. Set that right up there. See how handy that comes in and oh that looks great. Wow. I think it's done. And the last thing to remember about Dutch oven cooking is doesn't require any electricity. So keep coming back to Starry Hilder's off-grid homestead and we're going to show you so many recipes that require zero electricity all summer long. All right, God bless and enjoy your Dutch oven. Go out and get one now.